we're going to begin discussing threat assessment, but we have to begin that with range control. Primarily, range has two components. Um, most fighters begin thinking with a left foot lead, assuming a right-handed fighter, but you can't think of range as a distance to your opponent's head. You have to think of range from your sword shoulder. For instance, Ibn and I are both in left foot leads. I can touch Ibn, Ibn can touch me. Now, if I switch to a right foot lead and back up a few steps, I can touch Ibn, Ibn comes up really short on me. But it's not that simple. Um, if you start with a right foot lead, a lot of fighters cheat by squaring up a little bit more each time they're bringing their shoulder closer. So here I'm out of range. Here I'm in range. I'm also more vulnerable. So what you can get your opponent to do is bait him. If you're at extreme range and your opponent wants to reach to get that few extra inches, he gives me that slot because he's opening up the center of his torso. But physical range to your shoulder is not the only component of this that you have to worry about. You also have to worry about line of attack. If Ibn and I are both in right foot leads, clearly I can touch him, he can touch me. Now what I want to do is move my shoulder closer to him and his shoulder further from me. I can do that when I throw a shot. If I step to here, I've now closed my shoulder closer to him. I'm still in the right foot lead and he's out of range. And I did that just a simple lateral motion step. This is where lateral motion is so very, very, very key. So you have to worry about not just the distance from your shoulder to your opponent, your opponent's shoulder to you. You have to worry about where your opponent's angle of attack is and where your angle of attack is. You can also use this in another fashion. If I want to use a shot that I have to be further back than I would be, say I'm here and I want to throw a snap. Okay, I can simply do that by changing leads as I go. You can use this to block, but range control is very, very critical. I strongly suggest you get a partner, work through all the permutations of this so you really understand how the range game works. It's critical. I cannot emphasize that enough. Thank you.